Hola, everyone, and I'm Alchemist. I'm Judge Wolf. And welcome to the first, when a probably ongoing, we live in a dangerous series world. on Anthem. The gods who built it vanished, leaving behind their instruments that aimlessly reshaped the land. These ancient relics harness an unknowable force we call the Anthem of Creation. Clearly it's not unknowable since, you but know, the, anthem the aliens fucking knew it. Controlled. Well, I think it's unknowable for us, certainly playing the game, as we'll find to out. Survive, yeah. Our ancestors invented the Javelins and built cities with great walls. Today, so apparently these guys were advanced enough to build uh, power armor suits, the chaos, but guns were beyond them. And fight for our very survival. We are freelancers. We leap head on into danger, rescuing the lost, keeping the monsters at bay, and silencing the Anthem's terrible cataclysms. So he's trying to start strike there between but the chest plates of that all cataclysms Seems to be are created equal. And even freelancers are wary of the untamed power of the Anthem. Well, clearly something managed to tame it. Otherwise, you know, the world wouldn't be the way it is. Okay, so we got the basic setup here. Now, this is it. one Once of the things we, we need to remember is that it should require a little bit of patience for the story Agreed. to unfold. Looks like we fly from here. Colic. But it's still assaulting us with a whole bunch of gibberish right up the front. Yeah, all teams get ciphers to their amplifiers. What the hell? Yeah, we, in, immediately the the uh, jargon reaches toxic levels. Yeah. We're a long way from the cenotaph, and the storm is worse than we thought. Yeah. That headdress more makes her look like a Twi'lek. Okay, yes. To shreds. And more uh, jargon. Suit up. How crazy will this get? No idea. Never tried to shut down. So, giant armor oh. blockers will be ripped to pieces. But little dudes, come out you know, a lot stuff. less armor. Stay safe. That'll get there fine. Remember, sure. we're a team. I'm right there with you. Okay, freelancer. You might be new, but you won't be here for the show promise. Hey, Hal, what's up? Waiting for it to die down out there? Let's go. Uh, I thought you could use a head start. See you at the cenotaph. We're heading out. Maybe let explain okay, everyone, what that is at some point. Let's stop this cataclysm from growing. From killing everything. I don't know, Halleck. I haven't seen oh. anything like this before. Look, everyone. I won't be here if I thought this storm could beat me, right? The heart of rage is no different than the hundreds of other shaper ruins we've dealt with. It's just bigger. This is what we do. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna take on whatever unholy beast spits at us, and we're going to tame that thing together. Let's Hell do yeah. it. Yeah. Ready, Chapter One? God, this Ready. is cliche. Stronger together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got jargon you, and cliches of the wazoo. You expect this kind of shit out of a hammer film. <laughs> cool uh, first person view of climbing into the armor, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That is very pretty. Yeah, the detail is outstanding. Yeah. And I love the wear on it. Look at this. I mean, the. the it looks like it's been used. It, it's not just fake plastic. Yeah. Ready? Set. Let's go. Damn. Check in. I've got you, Faye. Loud and clear. Yeah. Yeah. The way is strong so far. Storm gets worse ahead. I'm trying to find a calm pocket for you. Steady, Miller. Your heart rate is too high. Okay, I'm Hello. not a Check fan in, of the please. shitty bo uh, no, vocal card. Ready. The fake uh, radio chatter. Yeah. Team, our rookie's handle with a wide one. Gotta love how they put a flash on the screen instead of, you know, showing an actual actual flash coming out of the muzzle. Yeah. Freelancer, thank goodness you survived, but your javelin needs a restart. I'll bring systems back one at a time. Starting voice recognition. It needs more than a restart. It needs yeah. a rebuild. He's trashed. So we get to choose between sausage and taco. Which one do you want to go with? Uh, I choose sausage. Yeah, we're going with sausage. You can't see the movie, right. so no point in going with uh, right. going with taco. Loud and clear. That was a bad fall. How's your head? 
You remember the mission? I think so. Where am I? You're in a cataclysm. Terrible storm. Well, the At least for us dudes. Yeah. You need to get to the center and shut it down by silencing the If you're a chicken, why not? Got it. Okay, you gotta silence the cenotaph. Whatever. Remember, you gotta do that. That's what you gotta do. Even if you don't fucking know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Your suit is still critical. Grab a repair pack when you can. Nice, we finally get some actual gameplay. Oh, He's up and heading your way. Well, that's the, the thing, there's head. been a lot of this intro you? stuff and it's Don't still know. incomprehensible. Okay. Not too far, just. Oh, no, sorry. So much for Can't patience, talk. huh? Be right back. Oh, and by the way, anybody who objects to the uh, talk over Sasaki thing, it's not no misogynistic when you other males as well. Oh Good. my god. <laughs> It's college humor. <laughs> Team, the cypher from Strider 2 is down. Comatose. Okay, cyphers. We got cyphers now. Well, we had cyphers at the beginning. That's what that uh, toilet chip was all about. Okay, so what does the cypher do? Unclear. Yeah. My guess is that they're like coordinators. Coordinators. Those fuel canisters are always explosive. They never just hold apple juice. Why would you use apple juice as fuel? Well, I mean, just canisters of stuff. Why is it always fuel that's left around? You take fuel, you don't think they can. Yeah. Update. This is Makes not sense. going well. Many casualties. Freelancers down. Cyphers in comas. Comas. From hearing the anthem. How are you doing, sir? Okay, Cyphers can hear the okay? anthem. So far, look, I can hear it too. Okay. What the so hey, she's a cypher, she can hear the anthem. Whatever the hell that means. Right, yes. apparently this anthem... Down, ahead. It's Send a literal anthem. The it Spanish has some sort of psychological effect. By the way, I was recording this uh, footage at one in the morning after a night of drinking. So if it's a little shaky, you know, I'll, I'll ask for a pardon. <laughs> Fine condition to go out on an important mission, you know? Yeah. It's interesting that the target radical really doesn't move much from the center of the screen. Yeah, it's pretty much always centered. It's almost like one of those side uh, side strafing games. Remember the old uh, side strafing games where you move from side to side? Yeah. Bullet hells, I think they're called. I'm not sure. There's a term for it. I don't know. Clearly. So clearly, that is not the right way to go. No. Ah, there they are. There's the freelancers. Now, how you find the emotion so far? I've found it to be fine. A little jerky, but it works. Yeah, I'm watching it. Um, it, it does seem not as smooth as Destiny. But it does feel heavier, right? You know, it does a good job of making you feel like you're piloting a mech. I got you, Freelancer. Sure, you sure, I can totally to understand that. that. Um, inertia yeah. really seems... Gravity and inertia seem to be more That's of an okay, effect. Street, freelancers. What next? Push on and join your team. Along. Which way? Now, I've got to tighten on the bridge above. Leave it. We've got one up here, too. That's amazing. Yeah, that's actually magnificent. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> that guy oh, just no. got posted. Oh, man, they're just blowing things up. Right here, just blast the wall out. Shortcut. We were <laughs> he didn't just blast the wall out. He vaporized a few of your buddies. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, a, that's a pretty amazing right critter. There. This was a fun scene, a bit of a fun area to go yeah, through. Just that sudden sense of vertigo plummeting me. down on the, these things. And yeah, the around. physics here are cool. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> you don't glide, man. As soon as your energy goes, as soon as your power, your trust goes out, you drop like a goddamn rock, which is what you would do. It's all wrong. It's all done. Looks like I managed to outrace the audio a little bit there. Rookie, there you are. Get in here. Base call and a retreat. We got this. <laughs> Almost there. Team, you need to retreat. He literally flew into that base fist, you fucking moron. Why are you in fisting range when you have a gun? That's the whole thing. I'm sorry. This thing is going down. Come on! 
Okay, so there's limits to the kinetic energy these uh, suits can absorb. Like right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get back to the Strider. This mission is over. Oh my god. You can see the little splatters of goo. <laughs> he buried his arm 30 feet into the ground. Okay, so this is apparently these chest flaps open up for whatever reason. Apparently that's some sort of weak point. Yeah. Well, I have to admit, that's a really anticlimactic way to end the battle. Yeah. We got this bastard. We have to get out of here. No. We push on. We're the only ones left. Think about Miller and Adair. All the others. You being a coward. I'm no coward. No? You want to push forward until I get killed. Uh, uh, until we both get killed. Go. <laughs> Cliche after cliche. Yeah, it's. I'm torn between the great graphics, these wonderful monsters, the wonderful violent, yeah, these sort of Lovecraftian beasts, and then the shitty writing. Yeah. It's like they went diving through Uva Bull's dumpster to get the script, and they got H.R. Geiger to build the world. Yeah, yeah, they clearly spent their money on the artwork and um, used someone's junior high school homework to provide the script. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. We're trying to balance out the negative with the positive. Here we got a little loading screen here we can discuss. We both are aware of all the shit slinging associated with Anthem. So, yeah. We but we've tried to we've tried to avoid watching other people's stuff Doing about it and just get our own opinions on it, you know? the heart of rage. Right, I saw some of the headlines and whatnot, but I haven't studied other people's more than friends impress and comrades. impressions of it. Yeah. We lost the faith of the people we protect. If this is typical performance, uh, so this seems like more of a scattered. straw that broke the camel's back Searching kind of situation. To redeem themselves. Yeah, they... The 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 these whole esprit de corps professionalism the that professional soldiers would exhibit was not on Doing display in that to help last people battle. people who no longer called yeah. the freelancers heroes. I'm sure any uh, combat veterans or trained Marines or anyone who watched that would cringe at the lack of discipline and professional detachment yeah. as far as deciding whether or not to continue on and whether or not to engage at all. Coordinates, Owen. Impressive entrance as usual. Nice to be appreciated. <laughs> ah, that's sell yourself short, mate. It's like I couldn't ask for any better partner. Superhero because, landing. Not many less left. <laughs> yes. So hard on the knees. <laughs> I have to admit, though, I like the uh, how the armor change throughout the throughout the cutscenes. Right? It's not just the same suit over and over yeah. again. It changes depending upon what's happened in the environment. Sure, sure. Like, they show wear and things like that. Yeah. And it's different kinds of wear too. You know, like the wear you've got here was different than when he was in the Strider. Just needs a hard reset. This should get the early warning network back up. Good, that did it. You'll His name is H.R. Geiger, now, right? I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe grab some supplies I've heard it's H.R. Geiger or Giger. I <laughs> think it's pronounced Giger, but I'm not sure. But yes, the famous artist who designed the alien beasts and, and whatnot. Yeah. Now, again, I'm going to gush over the artwork. It's beautiful. I, In a, in a Anthem versus Destiny duel, I believe the, the artwork room. here the design of the world certainly is better. It's more organic in a twisted kind of way. Oh, there's the first sensor. And the flying is a sensor. lot of fun, too. Once you get the hang of it. Like I didn't have right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's accelerate towards the ground. Get a on the <laughs> hang on. I'm detecting movement. Looks like scorpions. I have to say, the shooting, the actual gameplay, though, the shooting aspect of it is Bad. Yeah, uh, yeah I, the aiming is, is odd. Again, it has a little bit of that. I, I should have looked up the term for it. There's a term for it from those old games where we're basically sort of two dimensional and you switch from side to side for the shooting. Yeah, I have to say the, um, the actual um, firearm work, weapons work. Destiny actually has it on that. Yeah. Part of that is the first person perspective though. Yeah. 
uses the early warning system. If it's detected, I remember in Destiny, you could sort of you yeah, switch between the shoe a bit. Yeah, you uh, you had three weapons you could swap from. I only have one weapon at the moment, although I'm oh, pretty oh, sure oh, I'll get more. Yeah, you started out, so I totally get that. These first missions are more uh, training than anything else, training you to operate the system yeah. and what the capabilities are. You're coming up on the next sensor. Check it out for me, will you? And while a lot of people like games where... Like scorpions, at least. Oh, those They're are cool. Look today. at those. Those are magnificent. Well, we saw those before. That's yeah, just, I those know. Are the same creatures. That's true. The same creature, but they went a bit... Get a better look at them. Yeah. Oh, They're oh, certainly neat critters. On? Yeah. Why are all the birds leaving? I'm working on it. Really? You're you're working on it. Some details would be nice, jackass. Oh, not good. Possible you shaper know. energy detected. Get to the next sensor. We can narrow it down. Birds might have had the right idea. I was saying some people like it, you know, playing in God mode where you can't die and well, it's unlimited ammo, but it's game. the limitations the that make the game interesting and challenging. Think it. Yeah. See these ruins? There's a theory a shaper relic flipped gravity for a day. Uh huh. Well, on my watch. That would have been a very horrible way to die. Yeah. Still need to get a reading. Being just basically floating out into space? Yeah. That would be horrible, yeah. second for reading. Heads up, more wyvern are on you. Everything's in a bad mood today. This could be the nesting area. And again, it's science fiction, I know. But I don't see how humans could possibly have developed on this planet. It's simply too hostile. Yeah. It could have been that, uh, uh, humans were just, you know, granted a certain level of technology at first by these, uh, shapers. I suppose they'd have to be because this, I mean, it's, humans, humans had a bad enough time when there were uh, super bears and shit like that around. I can't imagine them trying to... Hey, Develop no with fucking dragons. Yeah, dinosaurs. I mean, when the dinosaurs are around, there's no way you could have had large human populations. And humans don't develop well, certainly in a, on a low level as... You know, develop civilizations and technology. They don't do it in ones and twos. Is there any other kind? Yeah. <laughs> there's an unstable relic. Yeah. There's a, there's a box of dynamite sweating nitroglycerin. The bad kind. Tight seals are holding. Shall I call in more freelancers? No time. We can't risk this getting worse. See, more bad decision making. Yeah, more bad decision making. You know, you could call in reinforcements and then continue to do what you can do. Yeah. Here we go. You know, calling in reinforcements right doesn't mean like sitting on your ass waiting for them to get there, right? Or waiting for something to happen. The floating lights. They're the echoes. Grab them and bring them to the door. Okay. Your tablet can hold three at a time. And now the gameplay grinds to a screeching halt. And this That's is where it. we can discuss the utility of puzzles straight. in uh, shooter games. They are not very well implemented here. So far. Of it, you'll need more. Now the problem is if they're logic puzzles, then um, Got one. well, frankly, if they're hard enough to be interesting, they're probably too hard for a lot of people to figure out. Yeah. You'll need more echoes. And uh, combine that with the fact that this is. You know, for most of the game past this, it's multiplayer, right? You're expected to team up with three other people. And so you add in the the fact that you can't... A bunch of people you can't coordinate with. Found another one. You know, dicking with the puzzle. It, it just becomes a mess. Yeah, that... If you can communicate, they can make Let's really cool it. puzzles. Yeah. One person has to hold on to something, and another person does something else. One person has to figure out this particular thing. They can do all kinds of cool things if you can communicate well. Yeah. But if you can't, it's just an unpleasant shit show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a, it's frustrating for everybody involved. This is a very cool tunnel. Oh, yeah. New monstrosity? There has to be some reason for it all. It's the riddle of our world. There has to be some reason for it all. That's my problem with this so far, is that, um... And I know it's early on, so I have to be patient. But so far, none of this makes any goddamn sense. Someone well, else made that and the fact that the writers are literally talking to us right fucking there. Yes. What's all this? Got me! Painful looking? This route's never been mapped. 
Yeah, it's just a little bit of my shield, but uh, not much to be on that. Again, artwork, too big thumbs up. Boom. And my heat's not going down. I guess I'm just supposed to be overheated. I'm trying to be set, hang on. Okay, we're about to drop into something. Oh, good. It's just water. Owen, controls restored. You're back. It's just water. <laughs> Liquid nitrogen. That's the relic up there. Big Concentrated so feel gas. Where do I start? Some echoes have shaken loose. Find them and get them back in place. All right, yeah. You may be wondering, why isn't he going after that bright light in the background? You know, that big old uh, echo over there. I didn't realize it was an echo at that point. I just thought it was part of the artwork. Oh, oh, oh damn! The drill, you'll need more. That's gonna lead a mark. Leave a mark. You got a headache now. Got the echo though. Well, I bet there's echoes. <laughs> got a lot colder. Yeah, that's not a good sign. It's drawing energy to form a cataclysm. It's working. Keep the echoes coming, and we'll collapse the energy pockets. So we got a little uh, basic Earth weather things going on here. Yeah, this part was not very fun at all. I can't tell, but the energy pocket's getting bigger. Something's forming in there. What is it? I mean, anything is possible. Look at the waterfalls. They're going backwards. There you go. And that may actually be the problem with the game. First of all, I, this isn't a problem. They're having a blast with the physics. Just think. The anthem's being harvested. But what's the problem? The problem is anything's possible. new forming. New and dangerous. Which means on the you, it's too easy to make easy. shit that's completely incomprehensible and inscrutable. Yeah. There's no hard set rules to keep it grounded in reality and understanding. Right. It just turns into a, a hippie LSD trip. Yeah. But. Which can be fun in short bursts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's hard to build a story around it. Uh, although I have to say, most games try hard to make the physics realistic, at least to the extent they can, given there's science fiction kind of scenarios. These guys are actually having a blast with the physics and doing all kinds of weird shit. Yeah. Which, from a gameplay standpoint, standpoint, can be pretty fun, although it's not very well implemented here with this puzzle. Yeah, but visually, it's just, I'm enjoying it. It's a cool little movie. Yeah. Yeah, for you, yeah. I actually Last have to go through up. this. You did it. That should silence it. Oh, of course it did. Nope. It didn't hold. I see. It's starting. And you've got company. Whoop. You know, this Rose is what solid. happens when you have John Oliver trying to be your help through a combat situation. Cool. Got to use my uh, ultimate there. There you go. I'm Boom. Thinking, Rocket thinking. launcher, bitch. I'm clear, Owen. Good. I think we can still stop this. Those fragments of the relic that blew out, grab them and put them back together. Why oh, would repairing the thing that caused the problem solve the, the problem? Go. Now carry it over and put yeah. it in place. Yeah, again. It doesn't always make sense. Keep at it and you'll survive this. Almost certainly. I have to say I prefer the ghost from uh, Destiny as far as the uh, disembodied helper voice. You are one of the few people who would say that, honestly. <laughs> yeah, see, that's where my drunken powerness really manifested with that shit. <laughs> There's something has seen. Lots of them. Hurry! How many teeth? Size is the real problem. What's that mean? Much! Considerable. Just get a move on. Yeah, not too helpful. By the way, okay, anyone who's hearing one. the dings, sorry, that's our, uh, Little adorable Pomeranian scratching himself awesome. in the background. 
Yeah. They're probably not hearing it, so you're just announcing our lack of question. Oh, as if there was any illusions about that. How's that lucky? This is the thing. They all are. Indecipherable puzzles that only make sense to shapers. No, I mean there's ice jamming it up. How much you want to bet he gets it in there at the last second? Of course he does. Good monster. Yeah, cool looking critter, but why the hell did well, at least now did I've got a new story putting that, that thing in right this other thing John kill the critter? Anything's yeah. possible. And why the hell didn't it kill you? Like, why didn't it kill the player? We got caught in that blast too. As far as I can tell, at least. You just don't believe. You're a denier. Yeah. I'm on my way. Anthem denier. You just don't believe in Anthem climate change. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well. After this, we immediately encountered something of a major fucking issue. It refused to, uh, less exit the tutorial. Basically, after you complete a mission, you're granted a screen that calculates all your rewards, you know, and gives you your loot. You don't actually get your loot until you get to that screen. So, if something happens and you get kicked out of that screen, you don't get your shit. Right? Like this screen here. The problem was is that we just got stuck here. Expedition complete, recording victories, and it was like this for like 20 goddamn minutes. Until we just had to quit. I'm not sure if I actually got any of my loot. Pretty sh I know I was able to continue the story, I'm not sure if I actually got my loot or not. It was kind of depressing. Are you trying to say that a brand new, huge game might have some bugs in it? Something like this should have been taken care of before it launched. Oh, totally. Yeah, if this is a common or even semi-common kind of bug, that's kind of a showstopper. In fact, it by definition is a showstopper because the show has stopped. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. I'm Dredge Wolf. And I'm Alchemist. And uh, we hope you have an awesome day. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Adios, muchachos.